Hello guys, Silver Player 22 here, bringing you another Team of the Season Silver Player review. This is the second one of today. I've already uploaded Fahad Al Mualad, or whatever you call him, the uh, 97 paced silver left winger. Definitely go and check him out. As you can probably tell, I've still not got my voice back. It's pretty, it's pretty shocking at the moment. As you, I, I pretty much don't sound anything like what I usually do. Um, but I wanted to get these videos out, even though I sound ridiculous. I, I was so excited to get them out. I'm a little bit disappointed. I still haven't managed to get a hold of Elton. I've just not seen any on the market. At least I don't know whether he's just, you know, people are buying him now for 400k or whether just no one's packing him. Has anyone seen any on the market? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, Carlos Eduardo. He used to obviously be a gold in the past. I think he used to have five-star skills, unless I'm thinking of a different Carlos Eduardo. But this guy has 71 pace, 8 dribbling, 8 shooting, 81 passing, 74 physical. Really solid stats. Four star, four star. That's what you want to see. Medium, medium work rates. He cost me 60k, but he will drop a lot more than that, I'd imagine, as the week goes on. Mental and physical attributes are pretty, yeah, pretty average. Nothing spectacular there. Obviously, his athletic position is pretty solid. His balance is really, really low. That is ridiculously low for someone who's a sort of dribbling player. Skill attributes look absolutely amazing. Greens pretty much across the board. Dribbling pretty decent. Free kick accuracy, long shots, all the things you'd expect from Carlos Eduardo were all there. Very high. He can play cam or centre mid. He's got medium, medium work rates, which was a little bit of a, a concern, but nothing too serious. And let's get straight into talk about it. Now, Carlos Eduardo in the past has been one of my favourite players to use in the entire game. On previous FIFAs, I'd probably put him in my sort of top maybe even top five players that I enjoy using. And everything that he has from previous games, his long shot, his passing, his, his free kicks are amazing, his crossing, all that sort of stuff is really cool. It's still really top quality, and if you can use him like that, that's great. One massive flaw I've got, it hurts me to say, is that his dribbling doesn't feel great. Like, I think because he's got such low balance, he seems to stumble a lot when he's trying to dribble which is not something I'm really used to, especially from Team of the Season Silvers or Informed Silvers or Silvers in general with this sort of, you know, with quite high dribbling. I was quite disappointed. His finishing in the box was relatively sound, nothing too serious there. I would maybe suggest, I, I don't think I'd suggest playing him as a striker though. I mean, look at that volley. He's meant to have 90, uh, 90, 86 volleying, sorry. And I thought the volleying was, and, and heading and stuff like that, anything where you're playing it into him was a little bit disappointing. Uh, yeah, overall, you can see his positives there. I've talked about his positives. His curl was really, really good. His curve, if you want to call it that. And I was actually quite surprised at how strong he was. It was a shame that he didn't have the balance to back it up because he, he could have struck the balance between being a sort of strength and decent dribbler, which would be really quite nice. Negatives, I've talked about them all. He feels quite slow. I don't want anyone to be under any illusions that he's quick. He isn't quick. He feels slow. That 71 pace actually doesn't even feel like 71. Anyway, guys, I've given him an 8.1 out of 10, which, as I said before, does hurt me a little bit because I've absolutely loved this guy in the past. Um, and I, I didn't hate him. As you can see, 8.1 is still a relatively high score for me. I'm, I'm quite strict with my scoring. And I, and I think he has enough good attributes to make him more than playable. But I was just a little bit disappointed with the fact that I expect him to be good at dribbling. And he just didn't really have that. I mean, someone with four-star skills should really have a little bit more. Anyway, guys, for end chat today, just let me know which players you want me to do next. Let me know how you think the challenge is going. Ask me a question if you want to. Ask me something about myself. Might do a Q&A in the future. Anyway, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Ta.